Google have just released Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview with even better coding performance. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get the API completely for free and use it in something like Roo Code to basically have AI code your entire application, as well as show you how to actually use it inside Gemini Online to create websites such as these, so interactive websites. Let's launch that. Pop. <laughs> as well as video games like this one here. And then we're going to also compare it to Claude to see how it looks there. So, first things first, let's cover the kind of press release about it. What are they saying? What have they changed? Blah, blah, blah. So, if you don't know already, there have been like two or three iterations of 2.5 Pro Preview. Essentially, they're just trying to make it better each time before actually releasing it, I think, as like the Pro version. So, the Pro Preview. So, we have Preview and Experimental. So, essentially... The big reveal is that it has a plus 147 ELO inside of Web Dev Arena leaderboard. What does that mean? Essentially, you have a bunch of LLMs and they all compete against one another and a human decides what the best answer is. And these are anonymous, so you can't tell which is which. And they have just gained 147 ELO um, with this brand new release of it. And you can see here on the leaderboards that 2.5 Pro Preview is number one. And then we have 3 is Pro Experimental. And between that, we have Claude 3.7, which is why we're testing it today. We also have GPT 4.1, Claude 3.5, and then, interestingly, DeepSeek. And then Quen is here as well, which you know, I thought was actually really pretty cool. Much better than the other uh, reasoning models from ChatGPT. So anyway, what are the biggest changes? Well, the first one here, they have this video to code, which I was like, that is amazing. What's happening here? I went and watched the video. Literally, all it says is like, Basically, here's the old 2.5 Pro. This is what it would like create from some specific prompt. And this one here is the new one, so it's a much you know, better website. But basically, what this is allowing us to do and what it's showing its capabilities, because it's Google, is you put in a URL here and you can generate some sort of website based on the video, for example, this one here. So bear with me, but <laughs> Gemini, this here is inside Gemini. They've created a video to learning app where you can paste in a YouTube video and then it will create the website based on the video. And they're saying that it has a much better understanding of the actual content of the video to then create the website. So basically it's like a quiz, which I thought was actually pretty cool. If we then go back over to the next part here, easier feature development, it just shows how easy it is that you can just ask for one liner and it will go and create the entire thing. And that's basically the, the big point of all of this. It's kind of like Lovable, right? If you go into Lovable, you put in one prompt, boom, one shot, you get a, a, a good website, a really decent one. And that's what they're trying to get at now with this 2.5 Pro preview is you get little information, give little information to the LLM and it'll create an entire website, which is pretty cool. So if we go and see what people have been making, you can see it on Google Gemini app here. And on here, you can just scroll through and you can see, for example, this one here, someone says, create um, or code, let's see, code a game based on my dog. And then they add the picture of the dog and then it creates a game like this here, which is actually pretty cool. <laughs> from one for one shot in it. Um, another one here, for example, is here they give oh, here they give this drawing and they say, can you code it? Which we've already tested something like this on channel and it actually does it really well, as you can see here, which is pretty cool. So the examples, more examples, more examples, blah, blah, blah. But the examples which we have done today to show you here, this first one is the interactive physics lab. You can see that I literally say to it, create anything you want based on physics lessons website. So it's a physics website, physics lesson website, and you can do some live demos, be creative. Now you specifically have to ask it to use like 3GS and make it a single HTML so that it can work in Canvas here. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. You can see that this is what it's come up with. We have four things, planetary motion, which you can see here, Pro projectile motion, simple pendulum, and you can't see it behind my head, but it says, transverse wave which is this one here and you get these little sliders to change it so i actually thought it was a really good website this one but as for the games itself and we'll compare this to claude is it asked it to create a new york city cab game right and at first i just said make the game and it didn't automatically open in canvas which kind of annoyed me so if i'm to come and get this prompt here and we paste it in 
and I'll change the JavaScript to 3GS so it knows to make a game. There we go. And if I just send this prompt in, you'll see it should automatically pop out Canvas. There you go, boom. And so now from here, we can click Preview. Now, the weird thing I thought with Gemini, and I know this is pretty, like, I know it's basic, but it's basic and it should be fixed and they should actually be able to do it. But, like, up here, I'm like, create this. Or, well, actually, I should just ask it. And it's like, here's some games. I'm like, no, no, no. You're supposed to be good at coding. Create it. So I'm like, code one. And then it's like, here's an HTML. I'm like, I don't want to copy and paste it. So I have to actually ask it to use Canvas, which seems very, like, you know, not that big a deal, but it's so frustrating that it just doesn't automatically pop it open. And anyway, the first game that it created, you can see here, it is absolutely rubbish. It's, I mean, this is New York City cab game, and look, I'm inside the building. It's just crazy. And then after a couple of iterations, I got up to this game here, um, which it's it's not as bad, but I mean, it's like, it's like the Simpsons hit and run, but just worse. So I went and tried to get it to do the same thing in Claude. So I just put in the same prompt. For reference, these prompts, you just copy it here if you want, but like I have them inside of the Apply the AI community, inside game generation prompts. We have the New York City Cab Simulator. And these are just a bunch of games you can go and test, experiment, use them as bases for your own creations. Same websites here, we have a bunch as well. Uh, and then for research as well, which is pretty cool. Apply the AI for reference is my community on teaching you how to go from zero to known as much as you need to about AI agents and AI generally so that you can actually create AI applications that work and automations that work. Stay up to date with the latest using the AI Tools Mastery and get templates to just go from the get-go here and any 10 automation templates as well. So anyway, back to Gemini. So we have Gemini here, that one there. If we open up Claude, we can then see this is the one that Claude come up with. We'll go start driving and we can see that actually it's so slow, so boring, there are no actual lines on the road. And also, you can't see it, but the it's back to front. So when I press forwards, it goes backwards. When I press backwards, it goes forwards. When I press left, it goes right and vice versa. And I think it's because this is actually the front. But in any case, this game, you know, pretty rubbish too. So honestly, in that regard, I don't think any of them are that good. But as for actually making like websites, I think it's really good. The games thing, sometimes it depends how complicated the game is to one-shot it. But the website is pretty cool. For example, one here, create a one-page interactive office simulator game. Now, I, I put this in thinking it was going to make like an actual game where people run around. But as you can see here, it's an actual website that they've, they've created for me. Where I can just click on stuff and you know, get daily tasks, see my promotional progress, go to meetings, take the phone, go to the computer, water cooler, etc, etc here, which I thought was actually pretty cool, but um, yeah, anyway, it's not what I asked for, and so it shows you the importance of what you ask. So here I'm going to copy this, I'm going to instead say to use 3JS, and I'll show you just how fast slash slow it actually is. So if I submit this in and send it, you see that actually it takes quite a while. So here it's thinking, blah, blah, blah. Everyone keeps talking about it so fast. I just don't see it. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Because I mean, in the grand scale of things, it is super fast. Like it's rapid. The fact that it can process this and then send the information to me this fast is just crazy. But I'm expecting it to be like, bam. But I feel like all of the LLMs recently have just slowed to a complete standstill, man. Like ChatGPT is a nightmare to use now. It used to be like it would come in like bah, 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 every word whereas now it's like here's half a sentence here's half a sentence yeah I just I'm, I'm not rating them at the moment in the in relation to speed so anyway this is coding it up and as you can see it's actually taken quite a while just to write write this here um now i know that in ai studio where i'll show you in a moment where we can get the api key that can take ages um but it's actually just takes as long as this whereas everyone normally talks about how this is fast and for reference just so I can use 2.5 Pro and Canvas to show you how this works. I actually just upgraded to the Gemini Advanced, so it should be the fastest that, that it's going to get. But as you can see, it's still taking ages here to, to load up, so I'll show you in a minute when it does load up. Oh, well that's handy. On the mouse, the Mac mouse, I do it all the time, accidentally just switch pages like this, and it just killed the entire process, so it didn't even do the thing. So there's something to be aware of. It doesn't run in the background by the looks of it. You literally have to 
sit on the screen, be there and actually get it to run. Unless, has it done the change now? Oh no, there we go, it just randomly appeared. Well, there you go. And here's uh, what we have now. Um, looks pretty rubbish, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> no, it should be like a game where people are wandering around an office. I wonder if we'll understand that. It's proper vibe, vibe coding requirements. Yeah, there we go. Right, so whilst it's doing this in the background, we'll show you in a minute. Let's go and check out Google AI Studio. So to get the API for this here, you can come to AI Studio, by the way, if you don't have a, a Gemini Advanced. And you can come here and select just behind my head here. There's a, a one to choose the models, 2.5, Flash, Preview, and Pro. You can see it tells you how expensive it is. But here we have free. You actually get five requests a minute or 25 a day completely for free using Pro Preview. And if you run out of those, you always get Flash where you can go and use 500 more. So definitely worth using those. Additionally, you can go to Open Router. There we go. Open Router here, um, which Unified Interface for LLMs. Basically, every model that exists, pretty much, that's a major one, you have it on here. We have Google Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can go and chat to it like this, like a, a chatbot, basically. Or you can get an API key to use it. And you can see here the providers. We have AI Studio and Vertex. Um, but basically, not free here. So to get an API key, it's behind my head, but you just click on keys. But I'll move my head out of the way. Boom. And then you pop this down, you get keys, click on keys, and then here you just create an API key, give it a name, and it'll, it'll uh, pop that up there. So once you have your API key from either here or from AI Studio, where you literally just go to get API key and then create one, which again is behind my head. Let me move my head. Create API key. Then you add it to your Google, whichever cloud project, create API key, and then boom, you'll get one. Once you have those keys, we can then come over to something like Rucode. You could use Klein, Rucode. You could even use the local boat. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. But you basically go to settings and inside settings, inside row code, you can then change here. So we have open router and in open router, I could change the model to Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview. We have it there and there we go. We can use that or we could then API provider go to Gemini and in Gemini, you paste your API key in here and then the model, we can change that to Pro Preview. You can see there's a couple of different Pro Previews. So I just search 0506 or can I? It's not letting me text search it. So, and you can just select your pro preview from there as well. And then you can use it inside of Rucode, which is pretty cool. But if we come back here, let me see if it's created this Office Simulator. I understand you want the office to feel more alive with other employees moving around. Is this the right? This should be how I'll update the Office Simulator 3D document. No, it's not a document like uh, a game, video game. So yeah, I mean, you keep completely misunderstanding what I'm talking about. I always find Gemini actually good at coding. So whenever I'd have a problem, I can paste it into to Claude and get some answer or in here before I would use Rue code or something. Uh, before I found out about Rue code, it would always give me a good answer to like the problem that I have. And additionally, the context is massive. Now, whilst this is loading up, I'll show you what you can also do is you can share these with people. So if I click on share canvas, you get a link and this link, you can now just paste it up here, for example. So we'll check that out in a minute. Paste it up here and then boom, you can then see the actual website of the game. You can share this with people, etc. Now from here, you can see the code or the preview from this link. So you can't just host it as a game really, or uh, more people will see the, the code. Um, but you can do something pretty cool here is make a copy. If you click on this, you then get your own version of this to interact with. So it becomes like a chat in here, which you can see, which is pretty cool because then it means that if we go to Gemini here, you can find people's uh, ones which have shared, for example, this one here, right? If someone shares the link to this one here, with you, which you can't even see, there we go. Someone wants to share that, you could then go into Gemini, open it up and then get it to actually have, say for example, 
the different fields that you want it to have specifically. So like copying the app essentially, which is pretty cool. So let's see, is this, how's it getting on with the Office Simulator? It's still going away. So as you can see, it's not very fast. Whereas ChatGPT, let's preview this one. It's not even 4.1, choose 4.0. There we go, right. So what's happening here? I can't even see anything. Yes, NPCs, please. Let's change and fix the code. Proper vibe coder. Let's change this to 4.1. No, 4.1 is only on API. So I suppose, what do we do? 04 mini high, let's go 04 mini high. We'll send this in and we'll see how fast it is. So is this finished? Yes, there we go. But again, it's, it's not created the game, it's just created the website. Saved as index, has it got maybe the wrong one open? Let me see. No, it's still not a game. It just has no idea. So yeah, I mean, that's absolute rubbish. Um, let's see if ChatGPT understands. I mean, I already understood here that this was a game. But let's see how fast it can be. Oh no, don't answer in chat, I didn't mean that. Still taking, taking a while here. Let me see. Taking quite a while. I think it's weird because some of these queries that I'm having, they're not even that intense, really. And I feel like LLMs, I don't know, I think they maybe are getting better, but like the length of time and the cost and stuff is increasing pretty drastically, I think. Um, now, if you're using these things to actually debug your code, they can be so handy, but like, for this kind of one-shot stuff, Honestly, if you're an absolute beginner, consider stuff like Lovable. Let me see here. Should I use that? This is my office simulator from ChatGPT. Right, well, I mean, at least it's supposed to spell on that because it's actually a game. Well, there you go. If you want to use it to create these things, man. Um, I, I, honestly, I'm kind of speechless right now. I don't know why this is so hard for the models. This was supposed to be one of those videos where it's like, build anything with Google Gemini 2.5. But instead it's just turned into me calling them rubbish. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go and check out the school community if you want to come to one of the calls, <laughs> which happened in 15 minutes. Um, or you want to go and get some of the prompts we've used today. You want to get some templates, keep up to date with the latest tools. Or you want to actually understand... AI from the ground up, intro, what are LLMs, what is RAG, etc. All of these are made specifically for the community. So come along, join the course, join the discussion with other entrepreneurs and like-minded individuals all looking to learn and upskill in AI. Till next time, I'll see you later. Take care.